Well, hello, tubers. Me being the bearer of bad news quite often, I need to tell you that YouTube is not real, and quite often, all we see with the YouTube RV nomads is low effort, bobblehead talking. <laughs> Maybe the odd time lapse. Yeah, it's all low effort. That's just the way people are. They're looking for the low hanging fruit. But uh, I need to tell you that YouTube is not real, and uh, a lot of things I do is not real. But I'm about to uh, show you some of the craziest stuff that I've done that is compositing video and keyframe animation because it's not real. I'm really not even a nomad. It's all fake. This could be a chroma key back screen. <laughs> you don't know, man. It's all fake, low effort, but today we're going to show you minor effort. And trust me, video compositing and keyframe animation is not hard because after all I am one of the laziest YouTube nomads but I put a tiny bit of effort only because I'm kind of an artsy fartsy freak and I like to zig when others zag and my channel is not about following the herd <laughs> I like to do whatever I want to do that's why every day every week you don't know what the next video is gonna be about because it could be something strange could be different, could be something you like, could be something you hate, doesn't matter. It's all about my channel. Hey, it's my channel, my rules, after all. So what you're about to see is a um, conglomeration of crazy things that I've done that's all very artistic, using all these camera editing tricks. Some of it you may have seen, some of it you may not have, some of it is a little different, but whatever the case be, sit around and watch it. It's something different, <laughs> and it's very peculiar. And of course, yeah, you're gonna see my RV blow up a few times. You're gonna see a few peculiar things. You're gonna go, huh? What was he trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. It's art. Art is whatever you want it to be or nothing. I don't care if it means nothing. Doesn't make a difference to me. Anyway, stick around and watch. Talk to you soon, over and out. Well, hello, tubers. As a few of you have uh, probably figured out, this video really isn't about blowing up my RV, literally. It's about blowing my RV up, figuratively, with digital media. <laughs> Scene one, Apple, take one. Man, I thought Canada was the perfect place. We interrupt the Line Screw One YouTube channel currently in progress to bring you breaking news. Vader says you're always blowing up Line Screw's RV. What? Me? No. That's a different stormtrooper. Listen, Chad, Vader told me, so you just better watch out. Oh no, it, it's a totally, it's, it's a different guy. That, that was, that was Doug. Hey my friend, you ever wonder why blonde girls don't take their iPhones to the bathroom? Yeah, it's because they don't want to give away their IP address. You notice lately how slow our download times have been? Tell me about it mate. This morning I logged into a teen and barely legal porn site. The girls all looked well over 40 by the time the page loaded. Did you hear the new iPhone is coming out? Yes, I did. It will cost $499 to buy.
$199 to upgrade and only $99 if you don't even want to buy one at all. What are you doing in my car, man? Huh? This is not comedians in cars getting coffee. Okay. Go do that man poop show with that other line screw guy. Just get out of my car, okay? I got stuff to do. I really want to help my brothers and sisters out there with this new patent pending RV car toilet. And by the way, this makes a great Christmas gift for the nomad on your list. Well, the beer is so delightful, and the whores are so frightful, so I ain't got no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. This is all just layered upon layered of chroma key screens. And that's essentially all that uh, the Hollywood studios do for the most part in the old days. And occasionally, I guess even today, they used mats, which uh, I'm not even gonna talk about, but it's uh, the analog version of uh, what we can do digitally. Now, what I'm really doing here is called compositing. And I'm basically taking images that exist independent of one another and bringing them and mixing them together and making one scene out of it. Are you a hopeless romantic nomad? Always on the road in your RV? Tired of all those pills and Facebook injections and fake Instagram models? Do you want to light your fire at the next RV park? Why not pump up your RV ego and your tires at the same time at the next boondocking spot? It's time you asked your RV tech about Arvangren. Arvangren is black tank safe. Arvangren does not prevent poverty or pregnancy. Side effects have been reported. Arvangren is not suitable for celibate RVers. Do not take Arvangren while crying on YouTube. Side effects have been reported by the WorkShy and eBeggars. Ask your RV dealer if Arvangren is right for you. Uh, let's Mike is 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. So baby want a steak? Baby gotta wait. Cause I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Yeah. Buy ya. Look at don't buy ya. B. If she answers the cell phone, disappear. Yeah. Wanna get laid? Gotta be an oh. asshole. Spike, use prophylactics with Tabasco. Hit it. Quit it. No time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Pooh. Gotta knock up, but you're looking to switch. Pull a Hail Mary and drop that bitch. Why? Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Why? Kiss 101. Why? Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Why? Kiss 101. Only you, you know you're my savior and my 
western wind And I know you like it It's time now, let's be Yes, it's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. I'm sure you'll agree there's some truth in what I say. Sorry about this. I know it's a bit silly. I could see your lips move. Just a moment, just a moment. Yes, that's a very nice rendering. Wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts. Forgive me for being so inquisitive. Yes. This sort of thing has cropped up before. I know I've never completely freed myself of the suspicion you don't mind talking about it. Certainly no one could have been unaware of the very strange stories being dug up. I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Just a moment. I never gave these stories much credence, and it will stay that way. I've just picked up a fault. It's going to go 100% failure within 72 hours. Sorry about this. Yes, sorry about this. It's all 100% my fault because I composited and keyframed this entire video and you can only blame me. But hey, I got an excuse. I've gone to Carolina in my mind and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And in the meantime, folks, Stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, and try to be cheap, lazy, and dark in your RV nomad life, wherever you, you are. Me when I was dead. Talk to you soon. Over and out. I didn't know you were around. Am I to be a deal? Am I what you're looking for? Can I be what you're looking for?